Hey everyone, welcome to this MTZ Insiders Update. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that a lot of you have been asking a lot of questions about and I feel like is very important uh, coming up here in early 2024. And this is, what is it gonna be like when Pluto goes into Capricorn? We have Pluto shifting into sidereal Capricorn early 2024, and this is also coinciding with Uranus going into Taurus. What does that mean as well? Um, so we're going to take a deep dive into this. We're going to take a look at some of the past energy. When was the last time these planets changed into these signs? And what can it mean moving forward now collectively? Now, if you're asking yourself, wait a minute, I thought uh, Pluto's going into Aquarius and I thought Uranus was already in Taurus. Well, on this channel, we're, we're using what's called true sidereal astrology. It uses the visible sky and it's very different from mainstream astrology. So a lot of the signs are different. If you are new to this channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so let's take a deep dive. We'll talk about Pluto going into systems and structures of Capricorn to help transform and change the systems and structures, mainly politically and eco economically. Uranus going into resourceful Taurus, maybe some transformations and changes with finance and resources and more self-reliance. So let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. Alrighty, so here is the chart for what will be the early 2024 time period when we have Pluto, the planet of transformation and changes going into systems and structures, Capricorn. And we do have Uranus, the planet of revolution and technology going into resources and self-reliant Taurus. So um, as you can see again, of course, we are using the uneven constellation. So if you are new to this channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information. Um, all these signs are very different from mainstream astrology, but essentially we're using the visible sky. If you were to look up, you would see Pluto starting to go into Capricorn in early 2024 and Uranus starting to go into Taurus uh, early 2024 as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start first with what are the fundamentals of these planets? What does Pluto represent? So Pluto is, like I said, transformations and changes. It is the last planet that we look at in the astrology. Uh, you could say it's the point of final transformation. It really transforms our consciousness into higher levels of being, right? Um, so it's that gateway to the underworld. It deals with death, but also rebirth, right? It's the endings and the beginnings, right? Hence that transformation energy. And let's take a look at where Pluto's been, which is in expansive Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is about perspective. And Pluto's been here all the way far back as February of 2007. So if you think back since early 2007, think about how much the global or individual perspectives has changed, right? It's been extremely significant. Uh, we've seen a lot of new beliefs about the world, outlooks on life. Sagittarius also rules spirituality. We've seen a lot of transformations in regards to spiritual consciousness, higher consciousness, views of life, different perspectives, right? This is what's been going through that major transformation since 2007. So you can see how Pluto operates there. Now Capricorn, where Pluto's going into, is much like Saturn energy, for those of you familiar with Saturn. It deals with the 3D world. It's the physical stuff in life. Uh, collectively, it's the foundations of the world. So everything from political systems to economic systems to even corporations and anything else that does have that kind of been here for a long time, has a lot of uh, oversight, deals with some major system of some way. This is what we're looking at when we talk about Capricorn collectively. So Pluto planet of transformation and change going into systems and structures of Capricorn. Now let's take a look at when was the last time this happened. Now Pluto is a very slow moving planet. And so the last time this happened was back in February of 1776. And so that date should be ringing a lot of bells for a lot of you, especially those in the US. That was of course the birth of the United States. But it was also when we started this when we started to see a lot of transformations to the political systems, right? Up until then, the, the world was pretty much monarch. It was pretty much 
ruled by kings and queens. It was the monarchy type of political system. And look how much that has changed since that late 1700s time period. Not just with the United States, but almost every single country across the globe has gone through this change from maybe more of a dictatorial monarch type of system into what we could call constitutional uh, republics or democratic republics, democratic constitutional governments, basically combining this idea of more democracy, but fundamentally I would say is more individual freedoms, right? More independence, more power to the individual, right? Think of how different a democracy is from say a monarchy, right? So that was huge, right? This was the last time globally we saw such a large change in our political systems, right? And so this is what we could expect now moving forward. So this can mean obviously a whole revamping of the way we run governments. The current political systems could evolve. I do believe that we are evolving collectively. This is going to be a transformation towards something better collectively. And there's obviously going to have to be some endings for these new beginnings because after all, we are talking about Pluto. So I am expecting this whole restructuring with the current political systems that we have, particularly also economic systems as well. We'll talk more about when we look at Uranus. But this fundamental change to our structures, maybe the whole idea of, you know, and, and obviously leave some comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can use the comment section. If you're watching this on the website, you can click the video where it says YouTube. That'll take you to the comment section on YouTube. So I'd love to hear your opinions on this. But, um, you know, likely some sort of evolution of transforming the current system, whether it's the political system itself, whether it's maybe the corporate sort of system that we have in the world. It could be that. Right. And, um, you know, some sort of ending that leads to this rebirth for the the fundamentals of of, you know, humanity, the things we we we, uh, you know, we're standing on, which is the structures and systems of things. So is it going to look like maybe a more evolved form of democratic republics where there is more individual freedom and liberty? I would say it's probably most likely seeing as how that has been the progression over these, uh, you know, recent many years? Um, or is it going to be maybe more control, more governments? Are we going back to maybe a more, you know, stronger government type of situation? And think of how hard it was to foresee what the world would look like during 1776, right? There's no way that anyone could see what these new systems would look like. What they knew is that the current system wasn't working and they made some changes and then, of course, it led to the birth of the new system. So it's good to kind of like, you know, foresee this stuff, <clears throat> but it's not meant to predict what's specifically going to happen. We're all going to be a part of this collectively. I do believe in free will, but it is about saying that this is the major theme coming up. The endings and the beginnings of particularly with Capricorn, the political systems and the structures that um, we've been that we've had since, let's say, 1776. Now, the other very important planet I want to talk about is Uranus. So Uranus just so happens to be entering Taurus around the same time. So this is going to be so for for Pluto, it's going to be March of 2024. And of course, it's not that specific month or anything like that. This is those surrounding months, even surrounding years. We've, in fact, already seen a lot of this restructuring because back in early 2020, we had Saturn conjoin Pluto. So if you think back to early 2020, around February, March time, that's when uh, we've already seen so many re restructurings taking place with our political systems and even economic systems. For those of you into finance can see how much has changed there economically since then. So that was a kind of a prelude, you know, to what's coming up here for the mid 2020s. But um, yeah, so so that's already started. But uh, Uranus uh, going into Taurus, what's that going to mean? That's going to be May of 2024. So this March, April, May 2024 around there is likely when we're going to start to uh, see it. Now, these planets are going to dip into these constellations in 2023. So do keep that in mind. Um, so basically, the spring and summer of 2023 will probably also get an, a, a prelude 
a sneak peek as to what the energies will start to unfold in 2024. But um, but yeah, let's talk about Uranus. So Uranus is like Pluto about changes. Uh, all the outer planets are really about changes. But Uranus is the more innovative and revolutionary type of energy. Uranus is all about individual freedom and more change and you know, doing things that are even innovative and, and challenge the status quo. And so Uranus has been in Aries, and this has been since around July of 2018. Now, Aries is more of the constellation that deals with fire. So it's about certainly fighting and, you know, asserting our needs and claiming more independence. And we've seen a lot of this since 2018, a lot more protests, a lot more independence movements, people wanting to reclaim more of their sovereignty, more of their individual rights, individual freedoms. And um, yeah, I would say we can continue to expect that moving into 2023 while Uranus is still here. But you can see how it's very much about freedom in that context. And it's very much about challenging the status quo. And you could say even the current systems and structures because it does square up to Capricorn. But now Uranus is going into Taurus. So what does Taurus represent astrologically? Well, Taurus is the resource energies of life fundamentally. It's towards the bull, right? So it rules resources. So in a, uh, a global sense, in a, in a collective sense, it deals with finance, financial systems, how we transact, uh, the whole idea of money and resources. But not just this, but also self-reliance. You know, Taurus is the self-reliant constellation. So what I'm thinking is, is with Uranus starting to enter into here, and Uranus will be here all the way through May of uh, 2033, and by the way, if I didn't mention it, Pluto will be in Capricorn until um, April of 2040, okay, so that's going to be a very long transit of Pluto until 2040, um, and so Uranus will be in Taurus from 2024 until 2033, and so what I'm seeing with this is we have Uranus innovation, change, and Taurus financially you know, resources, I'm seeing a lot of digitization and revolution and technology coming into the financial area. And we've already seen a lot of this. Um, the thing that stands the most out to me is the digital currencies, right? So you guys probably know them as cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, you know, things like this. And so what I'm expecting here is that Uranus is really going to revamp and introduce this new technology into the collective. Um, it could be the digital currencies. We're already seeing it with China already uh, releasing the digital yuan. We have the um, you know European Union talking about introducing the digital euro, and the U.S. Uh, same thing. And so I think you know collectively, and let's in the context of the political systems, this is probably what we're going to see is a release of the digital currency, right? So it won't just be the uh, you know, binary uh, things on the computer. This is actually going to be using blockchain and technology that's more interlaced, intertwined, and probably types of technology where the central banks do have more of a direct connection with uh, individuals. So not so much through the banks, which is again kind of an older system, but uh, directly with the individuals. We could see technology where the government's just able to, you know, deal directly. Um, with the individuals. So, uh, but either way, outside of digital currency, this is going to be most likely a huge revolutionary change with finance, how we transact, what we consider um, an asset, uh, technology in regards to how we uh, transact and, and how we do finance and things like this. It's innovation. Uranus rules electricity, technology, and this kind of a thing. So that's going to be, I think, very large. Now, the last time that this happened was uh, back in 1939. So this is the chart of 1939. And, um, you know, this is a huge time uh, for the world. Obviously, uh, this date should stand out for a lot of you in regards to when we started World War II. And so this video isn't meant to predict that we're going to have a war you know, globally or another world war or something like that. Obviously, that is a potential because Uranus is leaving Aries 
And this is again the fighting, you know, if there's any constellation dealing with war, it is Aries. Um, and so usually when a planet leaves a constellation, it can mean the final developments of that. You know, obviously things were building up to World War II. It didn't just happen all at once. It was building and leading up to that. So I don't think necessarily it's going to be global war or anything like that, but um, that did happen at that time. But what that led into was a huge economic change. Uh, for me, most notably in the U.S., because I'm from the U.S., this is when we had the New Deal. This is when we started to completely revamp the economic system to be more about manufacturing and producing things, right? So there was this huge change, and a lot of technology was introduced into creating resources, right? A lot of it was obviously to, to fund the war and to provide a lot of the resources for the war, obviously. It doesn't have to be that way this time, of course, and it won't be the same way ever, twice, right? So this is all evolution. But um, yeah, but that was a huge change, right? So going into the 40s there, a whole different view, whole change when it came to our financial system. And so that's what I'm expecting as well. Not only political changes with Pluto, but um, you know, a lot of revolution and change with finance, with resources. Now I did mention self-reliance, and so another way of looking at this too is we, you know, Uranus being about having more freedom is we could notice a lot more individual freedoms around self-reliance. And this has already been happening a lot lately. A lot of communities wanting to become more self-reliant and resourceful, connecting back to nature and to Earth. And, you know, Uranus rules communities. Uh, it's Aquarius energy. It's communities, this kind of thing. So this whole revolution and change probably towards more self-reliance, connecting more with the Earth, right, and cultivating our own individual resources and things like that probably coming out of this as well. But, of course, this is just me, one person's perspective. Again, I want to hear what you all have to say about this. You know Uranus is about freedom and innovation and Taurus is about resources, um, you know, finance, and self-reliance. And so what does this mean to you? What do you foresee with Pluto going into the structures of Capricorn to transform and change those collectively? And what do you foresee with Uranus going into Taurus to induce change and innovation with the whole idea of resources and finance and self-reliance? Right, and um, yeah, and so comment again down below on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on the website, again, you can click the video and um, then click where it says YouTube and you'll be directed straight to there. I wanna open this up to a discussion. I don't believe the future is predetermined. All we're seeing here is major themes and, um, you know, but what can those themes be pointing towards? What can we expect uh, in regards to our growth as humanity? and the collective. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again so much for all of your support. I hope this video uh, gave some perspective and just some food for thought really in regards to what we have coming up. And um, yeah, have a great one and I'll see you all in the next astrology forecast. Take care.